Hello out there. Today I want to show you the installation of my Emporia car charger. Okay, let's at first look what's in the box. Uh, there's not a whole lot of it in there. There's basically a small booklet uh, with installation instructions and um, basic uh, startup procedures in there. Then the charger itself and then a few screws to get everything mounted to the wall and then the charger um, mount and uh, handle cradle and that's about it. Okay, now let's go ahead and install the thing. Uh, at first, I uh, removed my old uh, charger. I had a portable charger there, uh, but I don't uh, really want to use that anymore since I have now this Emporia charging station. After I uh, removed all the old stuff that held that portable charger to the wall, uh, it just came up to mounting the mounting plate so I marked it on the wall then uh, drilled the holes and unfortunately my drill bit was a little bit too small so I had to wiggle the holes a little bit bigger then installed the mounting plate the cradle or the handle holder and then the charging station. The hardest part of the whole installation really was the um, screws, getting the screws in uh, to hold the charging station to the wall because they're kind of close to the wall and uh, not that easy to get to but um, eventually I got it and um, it actually holds onto the wall really really good. It comes with these plastic um, screw drywall anchors so um, even if you don't have any studs behind it uh, it's really not a huge issue to uh, mount it really sturdy to the wall. So the charger is installed plugged in and it has power uh, you just have to set it up uh, it's actually really easy as well the software is guiding you through it so at first you have to set up or connect to it with uh, Bluetooth and configure the wireless uh, connection for the charger. So you select your Wi-Fi, you put in the password and then the charger connects to your Wi-Fi and to the cloud. After that you can name it and uh, select the maximum power for it. If you use it with a plug it is limited to 40 amps or on a 50 amp breaker. Uh, if you hardwire it, it is limited or the maximum power it can provide is 48 amps. So you select that, then you can set a pin so um, it's not, it's kind of blocked so that you can change the amp settings to anything higher than what, what you're configuring at this point. You can always lower the output of the charger, but you cannot dial it higher up than the initial setting. Now that's it. Uh, now you can plug in your car and charge your car and it will charge up to the maximum that you configured the charger to. Now this is a smart charger. It has several uh, cool features. Uh, one of them is that it supports time of use and solar. So that means that you can configure a time when you want the charger to automatically start charging your car and stop charging your car. And that is completely independent of when you plug it in. So let's say um, your cheapest time to charge um, for or use electricity is between midnight and 6 a.m. And you can plug that into the Emporia charger and it will only charge your car during that time no matter when you plug it in. 
The other option is uh, to use only excess solar. That is really cool as well and it's uh, shown right here. It will automatically adjust the output that it sends to the car, the amperage that it sends to the car, depending on how much solar you are producing right now. So you will never draw any power from the grid, only what you are producing on your solar. So that is really nice. So what's the verdict? I really like the charger and the app is nice, uh, easy to use and uh, shows me all the data that I want to know how much energy has been used, when it's been charging and all these kind of things. There's really nothing um, that I am missing um, in data. Uh, it is also possible to export, export the data. If you want to do like your own Excel spreadsheets, you can export the data as CSV. So that's really cool as well. Any issues? Well, yes and no. Uh, it, the charger has been charging our cars, our Chevy Bolt EV and the Hyundai Ioniq 5 just fine. However, I am not relying right now on the solar and the uh, time of use settings. There has been a small issue with those, um, mainly when I turn those on, it works just fine, but only once. So like, for example, if I set it up to charge only at night, it will charge only at night. But then when it stops charging and for the next day, when I plug it in, it will start immediately charging, which it shouldn't. Um, I can get into the app, I can deactivate it and activate it again. And then will it work again for just one uh, connection for one use case and then it will not do it again until I deactivate it and then activate it again. I am in contact with Emporia with the customer service. They actually put a beta firmware onto my charger to find out what the issue is and right now we're still working on that. I will definitely update the comments below. Uh, either put a comment in there and pin it or update um, or probably both update the description underneath the video as well. So you guys can check down there if anything changed on that. Other than that, um, it's working really good. I love it. Uh, I especially love that it's all the way up to 48 amps, but you can limit it. You can hard limit it uh, to whatever your connection is. And then in the app, you can soft limit it uh, whenever you want. So you just go into the app uh, you can reduce the charging rate if you want to charge it slower. Um, that's absolutely no problem. If you want to charge it faster, you can get it up to your um, maximum that your line supports, that your wiring supports, and anything in between. So that is really good. So hopefully uh, you like this video. Please click subscribe, uh, like the video, and uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. I am always happy to answer. Uh, and other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.